It's time once again for the math game. The game where knowing your math can really add up. Here's your host, Eric Herman. Hi, everybody. It's Eric Herman with you for another round of the math game. As always, we have some terrific contestants who will be trying to win some incredible prizes. So let's get right to it. Our first contestant is Jasmine. Jasmine is six years old, and she has a pet dog, a pet hamster, and two pet millipedes. Hello, Jasmine, and welcome to the math game. Hello. I'd like to ask you about your pet millipedes. I understand you practice your math by counting all of their legs. How many legs do your millipedes have? One has 244 legs, and the other has 262 legs. Wow, that's a lot of legs. 262 minus 244 is 18. That's right. And 244 plus 262 is 506. Indeed it is. And 244 times 262 is 63,928. Okay, wow. And I... 244 multiplied to the power of 262 is... Okay, Jasmine, Jasmine. That is very impressive. You have some amazing math skills, and I think you're going to do just great on the math game. So let's get started, okay? Okay. I know you're very excited because we have some unbelievable prizes to give away today. Let's have our announcer, Ken Pardo, tell us what you can win. Answer correctly, and you could win a lifetime supply of batteries. Batteries not included. And here's your question, Jasmine. If your family is on a trip, and you stop to fill up on gas, how much money will you spend if you buy five gallons of gas at 50 cents a gallon? That's easy, two dollars and fifty cents. Oh, I'm sorry, Jasmine. But if gas is 50 cents a gallon, then you must be dreaming, and you wouldn't actually spend any money in your dreams. But thank you for playing the math game with us. Our next contestant is Braden. Braden is seven years old and likes to design and build paper airplanes. Braden, before we get started, I was wondering if you might show our studio audience how you make paper airplanes. Sure, I just need a piece of paper. Here you go. Done. Wow, that is unbelievable, Braden. Is that a little flight attendant I see inside the plane? Yes, and if you look closely, you can see there are TV screens on the backs of each chair. It's the only way to fly. Very impressive work, Brayden. But now it's time to play the math game. Ken, what is the prize that Brayden can win? Our next prize is an amazingly intricate award-winning ice sculpture. And here it comes now. Let's have a look. Uh, Ken, that just looks like a fish tank full of water. Some assembly required. I see. Brayden, here's your question. A man gets lost on his way to a birthday party. He is 10 miles away and is driving 50 miles per hour. A woman gets lost on her way to the same party. She is 15 miles away and is driving 40 miles per hour. Who will make it to the party first? The man. He's driving faster and he's five miles closer. Oh, that's incorrect. The woman stopped to ask for directions and made it to the party on time. The man is still driving around and is now 325 miles away. Thank you for playing the math game, Braden. Keep making those paper airplanes. Our last contestant today is Chloe. Chloe is nine years old, and she likes to swim, dance, and do parkour. Chloe, could you possibly give us a parkour demonstration here in our studio? I'd be happy to, Eric. First, I will run up across that wall, then swing along that row of stage lights. Then land on top of your head and tap dance. And then I'll do a backflip to end up where I'm standing right now. That would be incredible, Chloe. Let's see if you can do it. Here I go. Ow, 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 ow. Wow, that was astonishing, Chloe. And I'm going to need an ice pack for my head. But now, let's play the math game. Chloe, you are playing for the grand prize. Ken. What's today's grand prize? Eric, this is by far the greatest prize we have ever offered on the math game. A single serving box of super sugary sugar flakes! 
the delicious mouth-watering crispy crunchy breakfast treat that will have your taste buds screaming at the top of their lungs and leave a film on the roof of your mouth for weeks. Super sugary sugar flakes are recommended by four out of five dentists who want to put their kids through college. Oh, I've got to win this. This is so unbelievable. I know, right? Okay, Chloe, for the one ounce box of super sugary sugar flakes. If you are eating lunch in your school's cafeteria and you have one serving of mystery meat, one serving of mashed potatoes, and one serving of vegetables, how many servings of food will you have eaten altogether? One serving. Are you absolutely sure about that? Yes, because after eating one serving of mystery meat from my school's cafeteria, I would get really sick and have to go right to the nurse's office. That's correct! You have won the grand prize! I won, I won. Wow, nobody has ever answered a question correctly before in the nine years this show has been on the air! And it was for the best grand prize ever! Amazing! Congratulations to Chloe, and a big thank you to all of our contestants! Join us again next time for another great episode of The Math Game. Until then, it's Eric Herman saying, May your good fortunes be multiplied! Contestants receive parting gifts courtesy of The Parting Gift Shop. Eric Herman's wardrobe provided by The Wardrobe Providers Boutique. If you'd like to be a contestant on The Math Game, send a self-addressed stamped envelope to The Math Game at yahoo.com.